everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I've got Cujo here with me, and we're going to show you guys how to draw a level 40 Megalodon. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and follow along. Now to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eye. So starting right about here, I'm just going to make a small circle shape for the eye. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that just goes down and it's going to curve above it, kind of like a little check mark. Then I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve back here. Next, starting up here, I'm going to just draw a line that's just going to come out, not very far, and then it's going to come back at an angle. Then I'm going to bring the line up with a curved shape and it's going to come down. Then it's going to come back up here towards the eye. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a little line that goes down and it's going to hook back just a bit. And I want to add some teeth in here, so I'm going to make some sharp teeth, little triangle points. Then I'm going to draw a little line that comes down here where the tongue would be. Then right along here we're going to put in some more teeth for our Megalodon. And we want to add teeth on the top too, put some back here too. I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve back here. Then I'm going to take this, I'm going to go down and then curve. Now starting here, I'm going to take this line, I'm going to go up and I'm going to bring it down here. Then I'm going to make another line that's going to go out. It's going to go down and curve around. This Megalodon's got like some armor plates on it. I'm going to draw another one up here that's going to go over. It's going to come down and just hook around here. I'm going to make one up here that's going to go down. It's going to come more to a point. It's going to curve back. I'm going to add one here that goes out. It's kind of similar to that last one. The plates slowly start to get smaller as you come back here, and we'll add one more that goes down and then comes up here. Now I'm going to bring this line down to here. Now I want to add the fin, so I'm going to start here. We'll draw a line that goes down at a curve. Bring it to a point. It's going to come up and then sharply turn back. Then right along here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go up. Little line's going to hook down and come back up. And I'll put another one right here for some more little fins back there. And a little line that's going to go back here just to kind of form the tail. Now for the tail, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up here really tall. Then I'm going to bring it down. We'll put a little notch in it right there. Then I'm going to bring it all the way down here. May it come to a point, we're going to bring it up here. I'll extend this line out so it's a nice big tail. Now I want to put his fin on here and he's got a really, really large fin. So we'll start here around this biggest plate. And to do this, we're just going to make a line that goes back. It's going to come to a point, nice and skinny, and it's going to get slowly a little bit wider as it comes back here. 
I'm going to repeat this a few more times, and each time I draw one, it's going to be a little bit smaller. So we're just going to continue drawing these, and each time we're going to make them just a little bit tinier. And we're going to put these going all the way along the back here. So we'll just make them smaller and smaller. Then what you want to do is to connect them, you're going to go down and then curve right back up. And this is just going to give it kind of like a bumpy look. And we're going to go all the way down here. So we have our basic Megalodon shape right here. Now we want to come in here and add all of the different details in here. So starting down here, I'm going to add another fin. So we'll just draw a little line that's going to go down and then it will come up. Up here, we're going to add just a small curved line for the nose and a little line above it. We're going to make a long kind of broken line that goes right to here. Maybe a couple line or two underneath the eye. I'm also going to add another little line that's going to come sharply up here. I'm going to add this broken line going all the way down the shape of the shark here. And then I'm going to add some curved lines right around here. I'm going to add just a few extra little lines here for some gills. And then I'm going to add just a few more broken lines underneath here just to kind of add a little more detail to the plate effect. Now our Megalodon has some pretty crazy spikes coming along the back, so let's start on the head first. I'm just going to add some spikes that are going to come right across here. They'll just go up and down. And we'll just fill up the back with these. There's also going to be some inside too. So we'll just add a few more spikes on the inside as well. So we're just going to curve these back to a nice point and then make them connect at the bottom. And we'll put some more back here. And there'll be a few more on here. They'll get kind of smaller as they go back. I'm going to add another little fin here. And another one that goes down and up here. Now he's also going to have some along his stomach too. So just kind of how we made the fins, we're going to make some spikes that just curve down and they come to a point and then back up. I'm going to add some little broken lines right along the edge of these plates, just to give them some more detail. A little line around the mouth of the shark. Add some more lines here. I'm going to add a nice long broken line along the fin there. Maybe a little line or two along the stomach. I'm going to come in here and add some quick little curved lines for a little bit of detail on the fins. And then just a couple broken lines over here too. Maybe one along the stomach here. And then finally I'm just going to add a little circle in here and I'm just going to color in this part of the Megalodon's eye. And then there we go. There is our drawing of our level 40 Megalodon from Jurassic World. Now one of the final things we have to do is color this and I want to do a stripe pattern. I didn't want to do it in black marker because there's some really cool like dark blue, light blue effects that I think would look better if I just did them in marker. But the stripes are going to be very similar to like a tiger or zebra, just kind of really wavy as they go down and then they just kind of curve back up. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.